Is our strong seller's market maintaining its pace? And just how high is the average sales price now? Hi, I'm Shelby Strickland with Shelby Strickland Team, Remax Alliance. We've been talking about our crazy market for a while now, and many are wondering how long will it last? The average sales price has gone up so much in these last few months. I mean, how high can it go? At the end of this video, I'll share with you the perfect day and time to launch your listing to get the most for your home. First, let's look at our strong seller's market and any indicators for what will happen next. It's become the buzz that our market is softening. I keep looking into the monthly data to find numbers to support this. The average number of days it takes to sell a home is often an indicator of increases or decreases in demand. September's data did not support the softening theory at all though. I see a lot of back and forth averaging around 12.4 days on market. The softening of the market may not show in these numbers, but I can tell you it's happening. Nothing major though. We are still seeing multiple offers, strong offers, and short days on market. The difference we are seeing is instead of having maybe 15 offers for a home, it might be more like three to five. I'm still in shock that our average sales price is now over $300,000. Many have asked me just how much more can the bar market bear? Only one year ago, our average sales price for September was about 287,000. And you know what this year's average was for September? $322,000 for the Huntsville, Madison County area. Since May, the average sales price has consistently been going up each month, but it's down a tad in September. My guess is we will be hanging out around the $325,000, $330,000 mark for the next few months. Ready to know the best time to launch your listing to get the most for your home? Picture it. You've had a wonderful weekend with your family, your friends, pumpkin patch, dinner, and it's Monday again. You're energized and ready to take on the workday. Or some might feel guilty for actually taking some time off. Don't. Either way, you diligently give it your all on Monday. Again on Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday if you're really dedicated. But by Thursday, you are ready for that weekend again. You start thinking about your family, your friends. You find yourself on Facebook seeing what everyone's up to. And next thing you know, you're on Zillow or Realtor.com thinking about houses. If this sounds familiar, it's not just you. It's a proven fact that internet traffic goes up midweek. So when is the best time to launch your listing? When the people are there to see it, of course. <laughs> Our team prefers to list on Thursday for this very reason. But wait, there's more. Most of these websites you visit to search for homes receive a feed from our own MLS system. It takes some time for this to happen. Unfortunately, there are several hours where the sites only have about half of the information and often just one picture. Recently, these delays have increased even more, so we knew we had to make a change. We want prospective buyers to be wowed when they see the listing, not frustrated over missing a wrong info. We all know the less days on market, the better. So you may be wondering, how do we accomplish this without wasting a day on market in the system? Would you have guessed that we set alarms for midnight to wake up and turn that listing on? Yep, half awake and in our pajamas, we launched that listing. This way, by the time most people see it, all of the pictures and info are there and ready for buyers to enjoy and get excited. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this information valuable. If we can answer any questions or get you any additional information, please just let us know. Bye.